blessings is gold. I believe that there are Hannah's in this moment that are going to conceive, that are going to give birth, that are going to pray a prayer like Hannah prayed and exalt the Lord. Hallelujah. And I have been seeing the name Hannah and I have been seeing the name Shiloh very much. And I've been eating of that account. But today, today, as I ate the word, I began to weep as if the spirit of Hannah came over me. Because Hannah wept in the temple. Hannah wept. And she told the Lord in her heart that if he gave her a man child, that she would give the child unto him. She was very specific. She asked for a boy and he gave her a son. And she kept her vow unto the Lord. And um, when the child was weaned, she left the child in Shiloh. And Shiloh was the place where they went to worship every year. And she left the child with Eli the priest. But Eli said, be it unto you, when he found her crying to the point, praying to the point of he, him thinking she was drunk. And so I want to say to somebody as God's prophet, as his servant, as his disciple, you who have made a vow unto God that whatever he would give you, you would give it to him, that you have been seated in the presence of your enemies eating at the same table um, not willingly but on the account of the Lord he has sat you there and you have done it in obedience and um, you've been provoked and you've been persecuted and you've been mocked but God's restoration is miraculous. And he gave her Samuel. Samuel wasn't just a boy. A man child that she asked for, Samuel. He was God's greatness in that time. Amen. Be that unto you. Whatever you're asking God. If you be a true son and a true daughter of God. If you be a true servant. May it be unto you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, and may you testify of his glory. Amen.